constantly vacuum and dust and my house still looks like this. I buy expensive filters and change them monthly. I vacuum relentlessly, still I'm surrounded by dust, pollen and dirt. You can't filtrate what you don't pick up. For a filter to meet federal HEPA guidelines, it has to capture at least 99.97% of airborne particles. But the machine you put it in does not. Because once I stick this into that vacuum cleaner, if it's not sealed, you're going to get dust out, even though it has a HEPA filter. If you see dust on the outside of your vacuum, it's not sealed. America does not have a vacuum testing standard, but Europe does. It's called an S-Class, and Charlie Lloyd only sells two vacuums that meet those standards. Well, the best vacuum is going to have an airtight door. The bag in it is going to be a HEPA cloth bag instead of a paper bag. You're going to have a charcoal filter before the motor, the exhaust filter, sealed HEPA filter also. I thought my Dyson was in pretty good shape. I've taken it apart a couple of times and cleaned it, but there are certain parts of this vacuum I can't get to. All right, well, HEPA uh, filtration in the vacuum industry has been the biggest buzzword for years. Um, I get phone calls, everybody wants a HEPA vac. They want to get their HEPA filters because they believe that that's going to be what they need to keep their house healthy and clean. Um, one thing they don't understand is just because a vacuum says HEPA on it does not necessarily mean it's going to filtrate all the pollen, the pet dander, the dust, the things that aggravate asthma and allergies like they think it is. Um, a vacuum that's a true HEPA vac, and HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particle Air Filter, it needs to be a sealed bag system with a HEPA bag and a sealed HEPA filter. Um, a lot of bagless machines have HEPA on the side of it, and even though the filter might meet the industry standards, the actual structure around the filter, meaning the way the vacuum is built, it's going to leak dust out. And I tell consumers when they're at their house, look at your vacuum. If it's dusty, you can only imagine as you're going throughout your house what's leaking out of your vacuum. So this is a, one of the best machines on the business, American-made simplicity. When you open this vacuum up, is a HEPA bag, and a HEPA bag feels like your shirt. It's actual cloth material. You're going to have a charcoal filter on the intake. You got a seal around the door. All this is rubber. Then when the exhaust comes out, you're going to have a sealed HEPA filter. Okay, so this filter is going to rate at 99.98% of all the particulates that move through this vacuum are going to stay in the vacuum in the filter. And when I close this door, it becomes 100% sealed airtight. When you're purchasing a vacuum and people are concerned about filtration, if you're not getting the dirt out of your carpet off the surface to begin with, you can't filtrate what you don't pick up. And these vacuums, I have Miele, which are German brand, I have Simplicity, which are American made. They have airtight seals on the carpet and floors, so all the pet hair, the dust, all the debris gets inside the vacuum. And then once inside of the vacuum, the HEPA bag and the HEPA filter keep it inside the vacuum. When you go across a carpet or a rug with a vacuum cleaner, you have the brush roll is beating the carpet. So when you thump carpet and there's dust and on side, you're either going to bring it up airborne or you're going to suck it into the vacuum. So if your vacuum's not very powerful, you're going to suck up some of the dirt, but you're also going to be spreading it around. And as the dirt moves through your vacuum and comes into the bag or the bagless chamber, if it's not sealed, wherever the air can leak, so can the dust. A lot of vacuums are taking dirt and dust and making it airborne. That's why your eyes will run. That's why you'll get dust on your furniture. When you get a ray of sunlight in a room, you'll see all the dust floating around. And a true HEPA vacuum will act like an air purifier. At the same time, it's going to keep everything clean for your house. Is When they take these filters and they test them, they run about half the air that's going to go through a regular vacuum to get the rating. So this might do 99.98% filtration through the test they put it through in that lab, but your higher end vacuums that are true sealed HEPA vacs, they put the whole machine when they test it and see what comes out of it. So you're getting a true reading of what will this machine do in my house as opposed to what does this one piece do in my house. Because once I stick this into that vacuum cleaner, if it's not sealed, you're going to get dust out, even though it has a HEPA filter. Air filtration systems, any good? No. No. They're expensive. The filters are expensive. And tests have shown that they do not get rid of the airborne dust, the stuff that causes allergies and asthma in a home. So they take up electricity. 
The filters are getting more and more expensive by the year, and they do not cut down on the dust in a house. A lot of times they just think that a cheap vacuum will accomplish what an expensive one will do. Um, they look at the amps, like a 12 amp Hoover will clean as good as a 12 amp Mila. Not true. Motor designs are different. The way the vacuum is structured is different. Um, you know, and, and quite frankly, it's gotten so bad with how cheap vacuums are getting to be the way they're built. Some families buy a vacuum a year. Yeah, Consumer Reports has always put Hoover in the upright category as being the best. Uh, and I'm actually a Hoover warranty center, and um, I fix a lot of Hoovers. And under canisters, Kenmore has always kind of been in the top three or four. Um, and Kenmore's are only lasting about two to five years, depending on the use and everything else. Um, so Consumer Report, I've always said it is not the end all and, and be all. Uh, as far as vacuums are concerned. I've never seen a, a top rated Consumer Report vacuum last, hold up, or, or that was made that well. Dyson vacuums and bagless vacuums um, in the industry, you know, we consider them very dusty. Um, we compare them to a blender. You take this dirt and you blend it up in the chamber, make it fine, and it's much more escapable. And what I have here is this is basically the top chamber to a Dyson, you know. And I've actually cut this off to show customers what gets built up inside of a Dyson. And you'll see the same thing in Hoover, Eureka models, Kenmore models. And this dirt, you got air going through it. You're going to have dust leaking out. You can see how dusty the lid is. You know, you can write on it. And if you don't have the service yearly and get this cleaned out, it is, it is really unhealthy for your family to breathe. And this stuff also, obviously, you know, gets pretty funky always have hidden screws. Manufacturers always make it to where you have to bring it to a service center or replace the vacuum, which is their ultimate goal. They want you to buy a vacuum every year. That's what they want. But getting inside there, you have to have a special tool to know how to do it. And by servicing that, and there is a HEPA filter in the Dyson you have at home, it's, it's hidden. It's actually under here, and this is upside down, obviously. But you have to take a tool and pop the whole lid off to get to the HEPA filter. And that's not really made for consumers to do. No, it's, no, they, they bring it in and we have us do it, you know. Is that expensive? Uh, no, what I would charge to do something like that, changing the filter and cleaning it out, be thirty-eight fifty labor, the HEPA filter would be twenty nine ninety five. And I mean, here's the thing, you know, you're in your house with your children, your animals. I mean, we spend a lot of money in our homes. Keeping it clean and healthy is really important. And a lot of people don't think about it much. But your carpet, you spend thousands of dollars and then you buy some cheap vacuum to take care of it, it makes no sense. Carpet holds 10 times its weight in dirt. That is possible. And I have seen where you can take regular medium plush carpeting, you can lose a cup of flour in about a five to five inch square. So you can take it and sift it with your hand and make it to where you can't even tell there's flour in the carpet. Yeah. So instead of flour, imagine the pet dander, the dust, the dirt, and rocks, little rocks get in there like sand and grit, and they will rip your carpet up. And that's why when you look down the hallway, you can see the little dip in the middle from where you walk, and it sifts the carpet, and it chops them up. Pollen's really bad. Um, you get the dust mites we've all heard about. You get dust mites in your house. Um, you've got the pet dander from the animals comes off the hair, hair gets in the carpet, the dander starts to build up in the carpet. Um, you know, sand and grit as far as your carpet wear, that is the big thing that wears down on the carpeting. Um, and anything, like I said, that will bother allergies or asthma. Any type of dust really will, will be hard on your body. Make your eyes run, make your nose run, sneezing, coughing. And a high quality vacuum will get all that element out of your house, keep the air clean, and all your carpeting will look like new. I would say nothing you buy at a department store, like a you know Sears, Target type of store, Walmart, they're all mass produced, foreign made, and none of them are intended to have a long life. They're all plastic made, and none of them are sealed. None of them have a sealed HEPA rating. And you notice the vacuums I sell and mention, one is American made and one's German made. So the manufacturing has much higher tolerances, they use better materials, and it's just a much better vacuum. Well, the best vacuum is going to have an airtight door. It's going to have a sealed bag door. The bag in it is going to be a HEPA cloth bag instead of a paper bag. You're going to have a charcoal filter before the motor. Charcoal filter is going to cut down on odors. Then finally, where that air comes out of the motor, the exhaust filter, sealed HEPA filter also. If you have all those in play and you have a high-powered vacuum that's got a big motor, you're going to have a clean house.
The Simplicity vacuums I sell, which are American made, have an S class rating. Um, the Miele vacuums also have what's considered S class. That's a, a European standard um, for HEPA filtration. Um, and when you see S class on a vacuum, that's when you know that they actually took the vacuum, ran it on high, and checked what came out of the sides of the door and what's coming out of the exhaust. And that guarantees that 99.98% of all the particulates, the dust, is staying in the vacuum. HEPA is thrown around all over the place. It's gotten to be almost a worthless title when you see it printed on a vacuum um, because the structure supporting the filters are not solid. So you have parts of the vacuum that can get tweaked and moved a little bit. You've got the lids and bag doors. They're not airtight. And anywhere that air can leak out a little bit, the dust is going to follow right with it. And so is the uh, odors.